to his hand. Hold to his hand. Hi, I'm Jana Mitchell. I'm the charge scenic artist here at the Denver Center. The show is the Christians, and the set is a church, and there's two big stained glass windows, and we always get a little giddy when we get stained glass projects because it's fun. Two large windows that are two foot six by 13 foot six. It'll be in this wall, and the wall will be planked. How we go from scratch to stained glass is there's a, a pattern that the letting on the stained glass needs to be. We typically will have design printed up to full scale. And one of our bigger challenges on this, because it's so big, is having a big enough flat level surface to work on. So we lay it out on the table that's nice and flat. This one we actually had to kind of modify a little bit the pattern, so we drew it in there. And then we lay our window directly over the design. So it's right underneath the clear glass and so we know where to lay out our leading. And so we start doing the leading on top of the clear plastic, right there following the paper pattern that's underneath it. The leading has kind of evolved over the years. It is a product called CP9, which is made for coating pipes. It's a mastic, it's a kind of flexible water barrier. And then you've got cornstarch in it, and that kind of helps thicken it and give it a little body so it doesn't want to go how we put this on is frosting bags. This particular uh, window has, the leading is pretty thick, pretty wide in a lot of areas, but typically we'll put it in like frosting bags. If it's fine enough, it might go in like a ketchup bottle. But we, you just squeeze it out and you kind of manipulate it and whoops, if you get some on the glass, you pull it up. When we put the color on, we have to be very flat and very level. We let this totally set up, so usually overnight it's good. And then the color, Pledge Floor Clear. And it's an acrylic, but it levels. It's what you coat your floors in. So we have to add some color to it. And uh, we found this product called Dynaflow. And it's actually a pigment rather than a dye, but the pigment is small enough, it acts like a dye, so it stays translucent. So if I added paint to this, it would get too opaque. If I want to get it a little milky, we also have like a white, so we can add that to it too. So basically we mix up our colors, we sample and we test what we want. And then we literally have like eyedroppers that we flood the area. And it's really important when we're doing the leading that we don't have any gaps because it needs to connect with the leading and we just let it pool. And you can fill it up there and it just sets up and dry. It's almost watery, so that's where this has to be perfectly level. Otherwise it's gonna start shifting. And this one was not on a level surface and that's where you get that, it was shifting. By the end of his most personal sermon, some people will leave inspired. Others will just leave. Watch the conversation get spirited in The Christians, live at the Denver Center, January 27th to February 26th. Visit denvercenter.org for tickets.